Hey there, Mr. Nelson here with Core Plus Aerospace. And today we're going to do a demonstration on uh, putting on sealants and understanding how sealants are used. So we went through earlier and we talked about sealants and the importance of sealants as to, to keep out corrosion, to keep out moisture, to make things airtight. And today we're going to learn about how to actually apply sealants. So I'm going to tip my camera down, show you what materials I have out uh, and how you're going to be able to do this at home. All right. There we go. OK, so. Uh, we have the two pieces. This is the piece that we did the wiring on that you just finished up. So we have this piece. We're going to do some rivets back here. And then I took my two other pieces of aluminum that you've been working with. I just stripped off all the plastic coating on there, and then I just taped these two together. I put one strap of tape towards the back. I put another strap of tape about an inch to the front there. And the idea is that we'll be able to do a fillet, um, a seal, apply fillet sealant right there. And then we're going to be covering up some of these uh, rivets on the back side here to give us some practice on that. The other things I have, these are things, uh, if you have gloves, disposable gloves, use those. I don't have one of the uh, tubes that I gave you, but I do have a caulking gun like this that I'm going to be using. And so a similar principle. And then also paper towels are super handy to have next to you while you're doing this. And a cup of water. Not for you to drink. It's actually for the actual project. And I'll explain that in a minute. So uh, as I notice on here, I've got some... I have are some wipes. So now, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and I'm going to clean my project. Yours may not have a quad on the back of it there, but mine does. You see the blue on there, some blue and black. So I got to clean that off. There we go. My FOD is cleaned off. And the first thing that I want to do is make sure I throw that in the trash can in the trash can. Now I'm going to apply my gloves. Now these rivets are pretty close together for this example. I think what I'm going to have you do is every other rivet. So I'm going to do this one, this one, this one, and this, 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 and this, 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 so that they're spaced out a little bit. This is actually pretty straightforward. So I'm going to get my caulking gun and here we go. Got a little caulking coming out of there. And I just take my caulking gun, and you can take your tube, and you're just going to sort of make a little circle around here, just like so, until it's covered. That's it. Now I've applied my sealant. Now I want to go through, and I put my fingers in the water. Let me put my fingers in here. I'm just going through and sort of tapping down and pushing in the sides to make sure that there are no air bubbles under there. So I'm going to do the same for this one. And I'm actually just going to go ahead and apply all my sealant right now. And then I'm going to go back and clean them up. And here, same thing. Same thing. So I'm just sort of going around in a circle and pulling up. It sort of, somebody told me this earlier, it sort of looks like a poop emoji that you're making. And actually, that's true. It is sort of like a poop emoji. So I'll just make a twirl, then come back up, make a light twirl, then come back up. The key thing is that it all has to be completely covered, though. Now, Take my fingers and I go through and I just make sure that it's all the way around there. And same here that I'm fully covering it. And same here that I'm fully covering it. I'm not seeing any of the metal. And then when we're done, we'll inspect it by looking at the sides to see if we see any air holes in here. This one's a little light, but it looks like, oh, these rivets are so small, though. That's actually good. 
Just sort of going through with my fingers. Doing that. So there I've covered all the rivets. And when I look at that, I want to look at the edges to see if there are any pockets. So there was a little bit of a pocket there, a little bit of a pocket there. Just making sure that it's flat down on the surface so that no air can get underneath there. There we go. So that, once it dries out, just leave it be at this point. There you've applied sealant to those rivets. Now we're going to do a quick fillet seal. This does go by pretty quickly, doesn't it? So the same thing, I'm just going to pull a bead along here, and it's just like caulking. But the only difference is you don't clean it up like you do caulking. You leave a lot more material on it. Now, same thing, just going to put my fingers in the water there. I'm sort of making sure that we're down here. So I want an overlap fillet seal. So it's overlapping this top and that the bottom is fully formed. So I have a little bit of a ridge there. But because of the seal right here, no moisture can get through there. Uh, just patting it down slightly so it looks sort of decent. Now, it generally where these seals are, they don't have to, and this is where I use my paper towel now, they don't have to look great. If it's an interior one, it just has to do its job. So that's uh, my sealing project. Once this is dry and it takes about a day, I wouldn't do anything with it, just put it away at this point. And then tomorrow, you can take a picture of those two like that and send that to me. So that's the basics of how you do your sealant project there. All right. Good job.